women have a different perspective and a more personal touch, said Workers' Party candidate for the Pongal East by-election, Li Li Lian, as she visited residents and shop owners at Rivervale Plaza on Sunday morning. If she is elected as MP, Miss Lee would be the second female Workers' Party member to win a seat in Parliament after Algerian MP Sylvia Lim. It will be an honour and privilege, you know, to be uh, voted in. Probably women, we have a different point of view, you know, when we look at different things, you know, so that will add on to the value. And I believe, um, you know, as a woman, we probably, we have more personal touch. And that's where we probably will be able to understand the problem better. Miss Lee also responded to Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung's earlier comment on Saturday that PAP candidate Dr. Ko Po Kun has the potential and the ability to be more than an MP. You know, it's up to the Pongo East residents to decide for themselves and judge for themselves. PM Lee also said on Saturday that if there was a by-election effect where voters may cast a ballot for the opposition since the ruling party PAP is already in government, then we have a problem. Now I believe that when the person, when they choose um, a, not the ruling party to, uh, what do you call that, to represent them, it's not so much that they like the programme. I mean, I wouldn't say so for a majority, lah, but they, they wanted to let themselves know that. They want to let the, the incumbent know that they're not happy with certain things and they want to voice it out. And they're using their vote to exercise that power. To me, is that if it's a government-initiated program, there's no reason why, regardless of any party that take over, the government-initiated program should still carry on. With five days left of campaigning, Miss Lee said that sentiments on the ground were good. Uh, everything is uh, as per we planned. All right, as for the result, we will, we will not want to speculate. Keep watching Razy TV for more on the Pongo East by-election.